This morning on The Dish, a chef with American roots who's a master of Mediterranean cuisine. Born and raised in Philadelphia, Joey Campanero was inspired by the foods of his childhood, especially what came out of his Italian grandmother and mother's kitchen. After studying restaurant management in college, including a semester in Italy, he worked at top venues around the country. Then in 2006, he opened his dream restaurant, Little Owl, in the West Village neighborhood here in New York. It generated plenty of buzz and with partner Mike Price and paved the way for two more dining hotspots, Market Table and The Clam, both in the very same neighborhood. We sat down with him here last month. Jeff, Joey Campanero, good morning. Welcome to the dish. This may be my dream dish because you have served up <laughs> two, count them, one, one, two cocktails, two. popcorn and pie. We are very inspired working together. And <laughs> we come up with a menu, we have to make it fun. Tell us what else is on this table. So let's start with the cacio, cacio pepe popcorn. Cacio pepe uh. means cheese and pepper. This next dish is a dish that I learned how to make from my grandmother and my mother. <clears throat> so it's cavatelli pasta with kale pesto and it's topped with fried salami and Parmesan cheese. Ooh, it's really good. <laughs> the next dish here, this is uh, barbecued ribs, followed by broccolini. We have to have our vegetables, right? Mm -hmm. And then this is one of my favorite salads. It's arugula salad with peaches and strawberries and figs. I, I heard a rumor that Anthony likes. Good old apple, apple pie. pie. You just can't <laughs> beat it. These two drinks we're offering in our new bar menu at market table. The first is a pineapple punch where we infuse tequila with grilled pineapple. Mmm. Mm. There's nothing wrong with that. Hello. Chin -chin. Chin -chin. And you know, in, in our family, nothing goes to waste. And so we use the pineapple that was grilled and infused with tequila oh. in the barbecue sauce for these ribs. Oh, that's this fantastic. Is, this is really good. Uh -huh. You talk about family. Coming from an Italian family, I think we'd all expect you to want to be into food. But when did you get serious about cooking and, and knowing that that was a future? Ooh, there were so many steps along the way, but uh, really it was just inevitable, I think. <laughs> you were born Coming from it. South Philly, everyone has once worked in a restaurant. Uh, but my first boss was a chef. And so when we had a, we had a house uh, down in Wildwood in the Jersey Shore, and I saw this boat that I wanted, and it was a little rowboat, and I was 12 years old, and I asked my parents for, for his money to buy this boat, and they said, why don't you get a job? <laughs> and so the closest business was a restaurant. It was called Captain Max. Right. Uh, in North Wildwood, New Jersey. What did you do in Captain Max? At Captain Max, I scrubbed the floor mats and these huge pots that they used to make the clam chowder and the turtle soup in. Right. Starting at the bottom. And that and gave you an appetite for, for being in the kitchen? <laughs> what it really did was it taught me a work ethic and yeah. it taught me the most important question, which is, I think in life, but also in, in business, is also is uh, what's next? Yeah. And that, that, um, that question that I had to ask the chef was, what's next, chef? And that turned into peeling potatoes or peeling onions. Mm -hmm. Uh, to making sandwiches to eventually getting being able to put my own chef coat on. So you went from Philly to New York? In New York, I made some pretty strong connections. <laughs> I, worked, I worked with great people. Uh, one of the most important connections I made was with my business partner, Chef Mike Price. Right. Yes. And uh, we worked together at a restaurant on 56th Street, Symphony House. Plating salad, we, oh, right? Yep, yeah. I was the salad guy, and he was and he wow. was in culinary school. That was the beginning of a beautiful it. relationship, as they say. And next for you, you finally were able also to open your own place, you and Mike together. Yes, that was a real dream come true. Um, and it's, you know, it's a story of, of, of trust and, and love and risk. Uh, the restaurant business in New York City is not easy, and it's ever-changing. Um, How do you succeed? Well, we, we inspire each other and we, we aim to uh, remain relevant by doing what we love. And, um, you know, we focus on positivity versus competition in our relationship and, and we really drive each other as chefs and as business owners. And with Market Table, with one of the places you have, you, you think normally a place after a decade going out of business or it's just going to go away. Instead, you guys have sort of re you're redoing things in there. We had this space and we had a perfect opportunity to create a bar vibe, mm -hmm. you know, and, and when I said that, the, you know, like how dining shifts, my, our restaurants have never been something as pretentious, but they've always been something about experience. Mm -hmm. And so in order to have a bar experience, what we really wanted to do was make a very casually uh, sex, sexy alternative 
to going out to dinner. Um, and when you walk into a restaurant that's a bar, then Instant it's kind of under promising <laughs> and over delivering, <laughs> right? Like, what am I going to get into here? No. But then, uh, you know, when you get brought to your table, that's your table for the night, okay. and and the focus is on you. And it's uh, in the true sense of hospitality. It's that's what we wake up and strive to do every day. Well, we have filled your table today, but as we have you sign the dish, let me ask you if you could fill your table with a few people other than us <laughs> and share this meal. Who would it be with? Absolutely my mother. My mother, and I would hope that she would say her mother, my grandmother, yeah. and then uh, her great-grandmother. Um, it would, you know, I got to spend a lot of time with my mother this summer, uh, Patricia, and she's a huge inspiration. Chef, thank you so much. And for more on Chef Joey Campanero, you can go to our website at cbsthismorning.com.